The life of a student athlete is one of balance, juggling practice with studies, road trips with an exam or paper deadline. At Wisconsin, student athletes are expected to excel in the classroom as well as on the court. To help them achieve that is the Fetzer Center for Student Athlete Excellence. About eight years ago, Coach Ryan felt like we needed an academic presence in the Cole Center. There are lots of teams that function out of this building, and it's all about location. We are, I don't know, something like 100 steps from their locker room, right down from the sports medicine area, and on their way to the weight room. So we can, we, I can see them out my window, and if I need to get to them, I can go find them. It's very easy for them to get here. When you have a practice schedule like they do, and travel uh, October to April, there's never any downtime, so they really, we plan their schedules to be pretty even and having them um, be able to come in here to study, see one of us, see a tutor, um, get some quiet study time. That's key because they have little bits of time throughout their week um, and especially when they start traveling toward postseason, we need to make sure they can get all of their work done. When we start the semester off, they're given a travel letter that indicates their travel dates and times, so they hand that to their instructors and that's their first touch point with their instructor about, hey, I'm you know, so-and-so, I'm a member of the basketball team. And then the students are asked to then follow up with those instructors you know, a few days or depending on what's going on, when they'll be gone a few weeks if they have an exam to make arrangements. So ideally, we like to have our students take the exams here on campus. But if um, they're unable to do that, we do try to provide an opportunity for those exams to be proctored. So on the road, um, we always have a study table. And um, you know, for example, when we were at Michigan State, we had a study table that lasted, gosh, I think guys were in there maybe three hours before the game. We had such a long day because it was a nine o'clock game that it allowed us more study time. So guys were researching, writing papers, studying, and then after the study table was over, then I gave two exams after that. Email has made a huge difference to them and web pages for their for their classes where they can get in and find out what they need, get answers immediately at 10 at night or seven in the morning. The communication has been amazing and they do take advantage of that and it's one of the things that we talk to them about when they come in through the summer bridge program in the, the summer prior to their freshman year we have them on campus for eight weeks and they take two classes addition in addition to the two classes we are talking to them about everything from how to handle your ca your calendar how to write an appropriate email how to communicate in a way that is responsible and will keep you in good stead in all of your classes they are a very very close team and they are incredibly easy to work with in that respect. Uh, Nigel studies at my student desk a lot, and his personality, I think, comes across in so many different ways. He, you know, his love of words, his um, love of little trivia facts. He's very close to his family, and we are a family group here, and they know that this is a place they can come in and get either an answer to a question that they really don't know where to go to, or um, just some quiet time, and occasionally I have candy in my candy dish. I was a rower back when I was in college here and I think just knowing that learning the balance is difficult. I've been there. It's certainly I think on a different scale being a basketball player and being an athlete these days is far different but I very much attributed my success in the classroom to understanding my success in the sport. This rigor is all I know. This is the UW. This is where I went to undergrad. This is what I understand and they also understand. I mean they signed on to come to a prestigious institution. And by golly, wow, it's a prestigious program as well. They know that from the, when they come in at summer school, we're here to do schoolwork. And you are going to play basketball as well. And when you leave this institution, when you graduate, boy, is that gonna be something fantastic to wear you know, a badge on, on your sleeve. I have been doing this because the students are just a joy to work with. We see them come in as new newbie freshmen and what, by the time they graduate, and they do graduate, um, they are so ready for the real world and ready for jobs or ready for pro, pro ball. That's the growth that we love to see. At least that's why I'm still doing this. It keeps me really young. They are just a trip to work with. Some days there's a lot of laughing going on in here, um, just because they are, they try and, we try and keep it light so that it isn't an overwhelming um, kind of experience for them. They should enjoy college and come out with their degree. At least that's how I look at it. One of the things that the University of Wisconsin is so well known for is we want to develop thinkers. 
and developing thinking for yourself and how to make um, good choices certainly out in life but also why is it that you disagree with that article? Well, I don't know. So we talk about well, what could be wrong with that? What are the shortcomings of that article? What could have improved that research? And it's a different mindset, I think, for all students that come into the um, collegiate setting, into college, because in high school, I don't know if we develop that muscle as well as we do here at the university or at other institutions. I get to teach, I get to see growth, and um, all in the realm of, you know, young people growing up and maturing, and it's just, there's nothing better than that.